Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I have gone ahead and made some recipes here. You can see we are actually crafting up blood soaks, Icorium blocks. Uh, there are 34 of these for our new multi-block that we are doing. I guess I should put that over there. And... Yeah, now that we have our life shards, we got our primordial pearls, awakened draconium, dense sky plates. We got all the things. I don't know if I actually have that yet. Now that I think about that. No, I don't have that. But we should be able to craft up most of this stuff. Like, why don't you want to craft that up i'm like i know we have bedrockium cables we have them right there oh that's pipes we not have no we do have bedrockium cables i wonder why that didn't do the where's the the control left thing well why did the control left click doesn't work on that i wonder if it's because it's shaped crafting is that what it is yeah, it won't let me do the the automatic. You just craft up the two the items that we need for it. Oh, weird. Yeah, there's no. Let me see if there might. I need a recipe that doesn't have <laughs> all these are crafty recipes. Um, let me uh how about a mixer? I was just trying to think of something. I'm like Hmm. What happened to the bike? My game's broken. That is weird. Does it not it should work in there. Does it not work in that the wireless? Am I crazy? There it is. Does it just not work in this apparently? Hmm. Interesting. I haven't noticed that. Um, I haven't really been crafting up stuff in our crafting terminal, though. I, everything we've been crafting with Blood Magic has been the arcane crafting and like infusion. So I haven't, I haven't really tried to craft stuff up in my crafting terminal. Hmm, that is interesting. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, hmm. I'm only a little crazy today but uh all right so there we go that's gonna craft that up that is gonna take its sweet time crafting that up but i think everything else is good now i will probably throw the multi-block over here i'm thinking maybe i'll even dump it right here my drawer of bees should probably go All right, so that is at 46%. Um, let me get the rest of this multi-block done. Fusion casings, fusion machine. Yeah, none of this stuff is, the only complicated thing is that fusion crafter and we are good. Oh, I could show this. Uh, the world's been running for a while, so. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it seems to only be producing the shards. Yeah, that seems to be the only thing. And it doesn't produce it every single time. So this time it is producing both. But as we saw the last one, it just produced the liquid XP, which is kind of going to waste. But I don't know if I particularly care about saving that stuff. I don't. Like, I don't particularly feel like running cabling and all stuff. It's basically those, those are basically there to produce life essence for our crafting. I could also, I could have replaced a whole bunch of these. I mean, we have lots and lots of runes now. I could have replaced all these with speed runes if I wanted to speed that up, but I'm already too far into it for 57%. Okay, we are back. I've gone ahead and got all our 
parts for this thing. I'm just crafting up a bunch more of the auto taping and maintenance hatches. And I th think we got everything. Now, as I was like looking at this, I'm like, man, we have like huge parts of our base that are obsolete again. And uh, it's going to have to come down at some point. Like, all this is obsolete. All that is obsolete. That is obsolete. Pretty much all this is almost obsolete now. Uh, we don't use those anymore, although they look cool. And then all those um, are basically going to get switched for just auto craft. So I guess we do use those. But even those, we use them for living solder. But even that is starting to get to the point where not really we're not really using it anymore i don't know i'll leave them up obviously but uh yeah large parts of the base are quickly turning obsolete and i'm gonna have to break this all down and i yeah it, it is so time consuming breaking everything down and clearing out i've done a pretty good job uh like you can even see most of that is all all done. Basically, the things that aren't connected to like this, you can tell what I, I have done. This is still like the old stuff. Um, anyway, uh, I think I'm just going to throw this right here. And then uh, we won't. I'm not going to worry about it too much where it is because right now a lot of the a lot of the, um, everything's like wireless now, so it doesn't have to be connected to like main networks or anything like that. So, all right, so I'll put hatch. I don't know why. I always like to put the items on the left, fluids on the right. I don't know. I always do that, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I keep hitting the, the wrong thing. So basically all the usual stuff on the bottom. This isn't a overly complicated multi-block, especially compared to that. You might need more of these. Right, it is five by five, right? Oh yeah, we have 25. I'm missing one little part. I'm assuming this goes up the center is what I'm I'm assuming it's yeah like I don't even think we really need to confirm that yeah not surprising so one two three four five six seven eight and then that goes on top I could probably just be doing this with the auto build thing, but why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't really think about that. Yeah. All right. There we go. That one I didn't really have to worry about pulling random items from a system because they only had the one block. All right, well, there we go. There is the Draconic Evolution Fusion Crafter. That was a little bit of a journey with witchery and blood magic. But uh, once you kind of started diving into it, it wasn't too bad. A lot of stabbing myself with a dagger over and over and over again, uh, which I could probably get a lot of that stuff out of my bags. So let's do... Do this and even like this is still for my B stuff but that's the only thing that is connected to this uh, I'm actually going to let's turn that off also I haven't I haven't tried but 
If you try to break these with this thing still running, it blows up. I am kind of curious if, like, you break the controller first while it's still running. Is that going to blow up? I feel like... I almost kind of want to test that really quick. Because I'm breaking down so much of this stuff. I am kind of curious if... If I just break the controller... Do I have to worry about? I mean, it's not okay. I can spell. Uh, it's not overly complicated, but just turning off the main thing. I am just kind of curious what like triggers this to blow up. Doing really quick testing. Let's do. I'm just throwing these on. So once that's running, if I break a block, it will blow up. It doesn't necessarily blow up like right that second, but within a few seconds it will. Um, so if I just do that. All right, see that made me jump. <laughs> and now we know. Oh, that made me jump. That was quite loud in my ear. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got to, uh, you got to make sure you turn them off, but that's good to know. Cause I was kind of wondering, um, I may re, I may rebuild that like right here and then just do like a wireless thing so I can connect these. I don't know. Or I could even move these into the, nah, I don't use them a lot, but Yeah, I don't use them a lot, but I would like to have a, the B stuff close together. All right, I got to go a little slower there. All right. Do I have... Let's see, we have four channels there. Where is this multi-block anyway? There it is. Let me just clear this out really quick. All right. So I think we'll just do, we'll just connect this and it's just on the normal, normal network. We don't have to do a subnet or anything. What did I say? We had four channels. Yeah, we have room for four channels. So that's good. This is the main. This is so like insane over here. This, yeah, I this whole this platform has always been just insane. Ever since I had like the farm and then all the uh, the storage things underneath, this thing has always been nuts. Uh, so I need to get, so this is kind of what we're going towards. Uh, I do need a schematic. I do think, hmm, you can craft, you can get one from the space miner. It is a very low chance though. Or, uh, we can get it in Pluto which I might do instead. I don't think I have that schematic. No, I don't have it. And we used the Draconic, what are they called? Yeah, Draconic Core. We used it for the thing, which I knew I was using that, unfortunately. Uh, all right, so I may just go fly up to, well, not fly, but I will, yeah, we don't have it. We have a bunch of these zero pump modules, but we only got one of the cores. Although now I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's a 98% chance. I was thinking they were the same percent chance. I'm like, why do we have so many more of those? Yeah, these are 1%. That's 90, 98%. Um, the problem is it's a very small size and very, very, very low weight. 
All right. Uh, let me. We'll just go to Pluto, I think. All right. We are back. I'm just flying around trying to find this. I. Yeah. I just realized that as I was flying around, that we may have. This is the old one. Dang it. <laughs> this stuff has been unchunk loaded, so that is where all this garbage is coming from. That is funny. I just realized that. I was like, wait a second. This might be the one that we've already cleared. All right. So I should probably mark that. Uh, the problem is the our, I lost the, the map. Uh, when I updated, my, I forgot to... I didn't copy over, like, my my maps or whatever, so I forgot this is the one we've done. I guess... Whatever. That's fine. Uh, so I'm just going to have to fly around and see if we can find another one. Thankfully, this isn't too slow. All right, found a, another one. Just realized I'm like a bit weird having a, there usually a chest in the front. I don't know. Thankfully, not too difficult to get through these with the Am I going the no? Hold on, I'm getting lost. Also, the weirdness. No, this is the front. Be right back. Let me find the boss. <laughs> All right, I think I found the boss, even though it is. It's um. There's some weirdness with the rendering. Yeah, these, uh, forgot there's no, this is 1-7, so I can just spam it. Uh, yeah, these bosses are, eh, they're something. <laughs> like, did we, I don't know, I didn't see what quest that was. Need the key. There it is. All right, here we go. There is the schematic. All right, that wasn't, it was, that wasn't too painful. Also, I kind of, I broke down, I had two pumps on Pluto. Um, I just broke them down and unchunk loaded it. There is a few things I have chunk loaded, different planets. Uh, I have pumps chunk loaded that we no longer use. So I should probably go around and just break them and unchunk load them. Uh, actually, I need to make a recipe for this, but let me throw this in here. There and there. All right, cool. Uh, all right, let me clear out my inventory a little bit and get ready to craft some of this stuff up. All right, we're back. So there is that. I think I have everything. I don't know if I have Molten Scenarium, actually. Oh, we do. Sometimes I've completely forgotten what uh, what we have done. So there is that. I guess we just... That... Apparently, I don't have a recipe for Orion plates. I haven't really used these outside of crafting up the, the wand. All right. 
Try that again. Right, that'll just take a second. All right, I think it worked. It went really quick. Yep, there we go. Draconic Core. All right, so I will probably want to get the... What is it? Orb of Dislocation is probably one of the first things I'm going to want to... Enhance Charm of Dislocation. Probably one of the first things I'm going to want to work towards now that I can craft these up. Um, but we do have some other things. Actually, we just have this. So, Wyvern Core. Oh, I just saw that. All right, so there's, it's a little bit of crafting stuff up. Nothing, I mean, this isn't complicated. It is pretty kind of typical, though, with Greg Tech New Horizons. You need different tiers of stuff. So that in there, that. All right. Oh, look at that. We're getting things for the charm of dislocation. That's kind of funny. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, well. I forgot to do the... Hold the Icorium blocks. But I guess we'll worry about that when we do upgrade that. Uh, the... I don't remember where... Right here. Alright, cool. No idea what that does. Is it just food? So we got our Wyvern core schematic, and then I think, yes, there is the Awakened core. And that will open up this and all the these things. Uh, I don't know if we're going <laughs> to, I don't know if we're going to do this. That's, that's a lot. You need... Uh, well, uh, octuple compressed solar is, well, you know, a lot of solars that we need. I don't know, maybe something fun to work towards in the long distance future. All right, uh, let me get this crafted up. I need to craft up the wyvern core. And, yeah, we'll come back. And there is this. Now, I think I can dump this all in the, I think I can dump it all in the same input buffer. I don't think it's going to conflict. Hopefully it won't. All right. So that, and then Wyvern. We have all that. Think we have all that? Could be wrong. We do not have draconium plates. Hmm. We have dense. We don't have regular, apparently. Sometimes I'm always like surprised. I'm like, how have I not got recipes for this? But there's so much stuff that sometimes it's hard to keep track of. And so many things are like so similar. Like after your 800th plate recipe, do you really remember what you've done? And sometimes there is, um, Sometimes there is or a dictionary, but it looks like, yeah, I don't never got that one. All right, cool. So, Wyvern. I think that's what that quest wanted me to do, right? Yep, Wyvern Core. There it goes. Yo. Uh oh, why is it saying 
Oh, do I need to upgrade? Hmm. Do I need to upgrade the casings or something? To your casing too. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not overly complicated. Uh, what was it? Fusion. I have. I have them right here, actually. I think it was thirty-two, wasn't it? That was funny. I just, as I was thinking, I'm like, wait, do we need to upgrade these? Is it not those cores? <laughs> it might be. I might need to do. All right, hold on. Let me. Uh, does it say? Here too, I guess. Oh, we have to do draconic fusion casings. All right, that's that's a thing. All right, that's not okay. But I do need to shoot. I need to. <laughs> I need to put them back so I can use it to craft up the things for the next. I got a little ahead of myself there. At least it's easy to do. All right, we'll uh, return all that stuff back to the A system. Cancel that. Now, what is this recipe? Draconium fusion casing. All right, uh, unfortunately, these bloody Icorium fusion casings. Wait, can I? All right, I need to craft up 32 of those cores. And then I can use the ones. Yeah, I can use those, I think. Um, assembler zero is what I need. Uh, but I do need, I can't break it down until I craft up those cores. So we have four. I need 28. All right, so I'll craft those up and then I will break these fusion casings and then craft up the draconium in the regular assembler. Yeah, we're good. All right, we are back. I've got the draconium casings. There we go. Now let's try that again. And that should hopefully work. All right, we did that one. Did it work? Yes. All right, there we go. So we got the Wyvern cores crafted up that unlocked the Awakened cores. Uh, I will do this. Uh, in between episodes, pretty similar to what we've already done. And then uh, definitely get this charm crafted up next. And then um, we'll see which direction we want to go. I would like to get some of this stuff done, although that does require some more magic. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Uh, but uh, I also need to start getting more of the, whatchamacallit's built. The Eye of Harmony, or we do the, the parallel. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta think about what I want to do here, which way we want to go with this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we need to start getting going on with that. And I need to clean up the base, but that is just kind of like an ongoing thing. But, uh, all right. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.